your main idea is what your paper is going to be about. So example, if you're going to write a paper about how to wash a dog, you have to incorporate dog in there because a dog is your main topic, okay, a dog. But how to wash a dog is extending to your main idea. And with that, you move on to a topic sentence. Because anybody tell me what is a topic sentence? What do you think about when you hear a topic sentence? A topic sentence. Is it like the first sentence in the paragraph? Yes, exactly. The first sentence in the paragraph. Many people forget to, how to include a topic sentence. They just start going right and on about it. But with a topic sentence, it helps engage your audience, helps with the flow of your paper, and helps everybody know, okay, this is what I'm going to look for. This is what it's going to talk about. So in today's lesson, we're going to have key terms that we're going to discuss at the end of the song. Main idea, topic sentence, transition, and some important details. We already discussed what a main idea was and what a topic sentence was. But now we're going to go into the steps of how to write an effective paragraph. Okay. Step number one, we make a point. We discussed this earlier. By making your point, you need to have a topic sentence, which is, like you said, in the beginning of your sentence of the paragraph, and it talks about your main idea. When writing a topic sentence, you need to have a hook, something that's like, oh, I need to read this, something that catches your eye that, okay, this is going to be something interesting to write. So remember that while you write it. They, and in addition, think about your audience. If it's a formal paper, you need to write more formally. But if it's something like casual, just fictional about your own thoughts, then write more loosely. Step number two, support your point. With supporting your point, you need to have supportive details. You may ask, okay, what is a supportive detail? A supportive detail helps to keep you on topic, helps you to stay with what you're gonna talk about, helps people to Feel like what you're saying is truthful, help to justify what you're saying. And types of examples that can help with support details are facts, and examples for our stories, just a little short synopsis of something, something that adds cushion to what you're saying, makes it more lively. And step number three, you organize your thoughts. When writing, we tend to just go on, go on, just writing, writing, writing. But to help with you to read it fluently while other people read it, you need to have transitions. You may ask, what is a transition word? A transition word are just words that help to connect your thoughts. I've given you a list of transition words. Can anybody tell me what is a list, like one of the words off the list that is a transition word? Um, finally. Okay. Anybody else? Again. Again. Yeah. Those are good ones. Again. When using transition words, you need to mix them up. You don't want to use the same one over and over. If you said another in the first sentence, you won't use another again to describe another detail. Transitions are help to connect the same idea with another idea, but they're related to the main overall topic. So like I said, for example, with the dog, you learn how to wash a dog. You say, okay, first you need to get the water in the water bucket. Then you need to get soap. Those are two together because it's still talking about washing the dog. How do you wash a dog? And step number four, which is mostly important, is to proofread. Yes. So is proofreading like when I let Camille and Shannon look at my paper? Yes. You can do it with your peers as well, but with peer reading, you got to make sure you follow the grammatical rules, which is in the grammar handbook. I handed to y'all last week. You can look through there and figure out what am I missing, like capital letters? Does this need to be different tense? You can look through there to help you out. Another form of peer reading is reading out loud. When you read out loud, you can hear your thoughts and see if they're clearly and they flow together. So, do y'all know how to write a paragraph? I think, I think so. so. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I have a song that can help y'all to write a paragraph. A song? So, all right. <laughs> all right. Hard, but y'all got this. To write a paragraph. Listen to this rap. You need a topic sentence to express your main idea with supportive details to make your thoughts clear. So much knowledge on my mind, you can't waste time. So use transitions to help with your flow. You know how to write an effective paragraph. Don't forget to proofread and repeat after me. All right, class, that was really good. Now, are y'all ready to write y'all papers? I know it's gonna be good, so let's get to writing. Woo! Woo!